have you ever wondered how whales, the largest creatures on Earth, ended up in the ocean? An intriguing question, isn't it? It's a mystery that has puzzled scientists for centuries. Some theorize that early whale ancestors were once land-dwelling creatures, compelled to leave their terrestrial homes for the vast, uncharted blue. But what drove them to this drastic change? What compels a creature to abandon land for an aquatic existence? To understand this, we need to embark on a journey that takes us back millions of years. Our tale begins on land, with a creature known as Pachycetus. This four-legged hoofed mammal, which roamed the Earth over 50 million years ago, is believed to be the earliest known ancestor of the modern whale. But how did this land-dwelling creature venture into the water and evolve into the giants of the sea we marvel at today? The journey from land to sea wasn't a sudden leap, but a gradual adaptation over millions of years. As the Pachycetus began to spend more time near water, it evolved into species like Ambulocetus and Remingtonocetus, mammals that lived both on land and in water. These semi-aquatic creatures, often referred to as walking whales, had strong limbs for moving on land and a body shape that allowed for efficient swimming. But the transition wasn't just about moving from land to water, it required significant anatomical changes. The limbs of these early whales began to transform into flippers, their snouts elongated, better suited for catching prey in water. And perhaps most importantly, they developed a tail fluke, much like the ones we see on today's whales, which allowed them to propel themselves through the water with powerful thrusts. As time passed, these semi-aquatic creatures became increasingly adapted to life in water, setting the stage for the emergence of fully aquatic whales. Thus, our tale of evolution continues, a testament to the remarkable adaptability of life on Earth. Fast forward a few million years and we find ourselves in the age of Basilosaurus. Now that's a whale of a tale. This creature, as the first fully aquatic whale, marked a significant turning point in the evolutionary journey of these majestic beings. Basilosaurus, despite its reptilian-sounding name, was indeed a whale and a massive one at that, reaching lengths of up to 60 feet. It had a long, serpent-like body and powerful jaws, but the most fascinating thing about this creature was its tiny hind limbs. These limbs, though functionally useless, were a clear indication of its terrestrial origins. As time went on, these hind limbs disappeared altogether, and other significant changes began to take shape. The nostrils of these ancient whales started to move towards the top of the head, forming what we now recognize as a blowhole. This adaptation allowed whales to breathe without having to fully surface, a handy trick when you're an ocean-dwelling creature. And then there's echolocation, a biological sonar system that lets whales locate objects and hunt in the dark depths of the sea. It's a sophisticated skill that sets these creatures apart and allows them to thrive in a wide range of marine environments. And so, through millions of years of evolution, the majestic whales we know today came to be. What have we learned from this evolutionary journey? We've traced the remarkable path from the land-dwelling Pachycetus to the awe-inspiring marine mammals we see today. We've pondered theories, from seeking new food sources to escaping predators, explaining why these creatures made their grand exodus from land to sea. The evolution of whales is a testament to the power of nature and the adaptability of life. It's a story that continues to unfold as we learn more about these fascinating creatures.